Hello and welcome to the Automotive Diagnosis YouTube channel. In this video, I will share a fault that I had many times on the windshield wipers that won't go down when you switch the wiper off. It also affects the intermittent function of the wiper that as you will see, wipers will not work continuously and will stop and go. So please stay with us until the end of the video and don't forget to visit the channel for more videos. Here you see the fault, wipers don't work continuously and if you turn the wiper switch off, they will not go down. To diagnose this fault, we need to have a look at the wiring diagram first to find the possible causes. This wiring diagram is for Hyundai and Kia vehicles but it is very similar in other cars. As you see there is a relay for the wiper that must operate the wiper. But you must know that this relay is actually a 5-pin relay. It means, it has two switches inside. One normally open switch to operate the wiper and one normally closed switch for returning the wiper to the bottom position. In this section, you see the current flow on the wiring diagram, when wiper is working on the intermittent function. As you see, as soon as you turn the switch on and activate the intermittent function, body control module will receive the signal to energize the wiper relay by providing the ground on the relay's coil. Then power will be provided to the wiper motor through the normally open switch, as it is close at this moment by the relay magnetic field. But as soon as wiper motor operates, it will change the parking switch position, and through that switch, power will be provided to the pin 87A on the relay, which is the normally closed switch. And it is used for the wiper return function, and will cause the continuous operation on the intermittent position. So, the possible cause for this fault might be the normally closed switch inside the relay, parking switch inside the wiper motor, or the wiring. Let's start by checking the relay. Locate the wiper relay in the engine fuse box using the guide on the fuse box cap. Then remove the relay. First of all, identify the pins. Pin 85 and 86 are for the relay's coil. Pin 30 and 87 are for the normally open switch and the power supply. And the last pin is the 87A, which is for the normally closed switch. So for this fault, you don't need to check all aspects of the relay. Just check the normally closed switch as shown here. When you test the continuity between pin 30 and 87A, you must hear the continuity sound. 
As you see on this case, there is no continuity on the relay which means my relay is faulty. Let's see how was the continuity test on the brand new relay. If relay was ok, you must test the power supply coming from the wiper motor. So, select the voltage on the multimeter, and check the voltage at this point on the fuse box. When intermittent is working, this power should change between 0 to 12 voltage continuously. If it is constantly 0, you must check it on the wiper motor. As you see here, in another case, I don't have the power supply from the motor for returning the wiper, so I must check the power supply on the wiper motor connector. First check the wiper parking switch output, if don't have the power here, check the power input to the parking switch. In this case, I do have the power at the input, but wiper parking switch does not pass the power to the output which means the wiper motor must be replaced. Make sure to perform this test when wiper is operating and do the back probing on the wiper connector. As my case was just a faulty relay, I will replace the relay to see the result. So problem fixed. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please press the like button and share the video. For more videos, don't forget to visit the channel.